Hi everybody, this is Jane Mason from Virtuous Bread and this is the second in my series of leadership pep talks. Um, you may remember that yesterday's four word slogan was pull your finger out. And, and I really meant it. And the reason I meant it, if you didn't see my talk yesterday, was because I've been speaking to many, many leaders over the past two or three weeks and a huge number of them are in various stages of, of paralysis. Um, I understand that. I, I really, really do. This is a terrible time. Um, it's a lot of worry. But you are leaders and your job is to lead. Your job is to pull your finger out. And if you're a wannabe leader, you need to get there somehow. So you better pull your finger out in order to get there. Now, today's four word slogan is look after your clients. And uh, the reason you have to look after your clients is because if you're not looking after your clients, believe me, somebody else is. Now, I want to give you, tell you a story and give you an example, a wonderful example of leadership, uh, specifically when it comes to looking after your clients. And it came actually across my Facebook feed yesterday. And it was from a company that I think is called Ottawa Eats. And the CEO sent a message to everybody. And, and by the way, I don't live in Ottawa. Ottawa is the capital city of Canada. I don't live there. So forgive me if I'm getting the details wrong, but it's the story that counts because randomly this came across my Facebook feed. And the CEO of this company, which I think is called Ottawa Eats, um, and it represents the restaurants in Ottawa. And he gave a little video in which he spoke to us about the fact that Ottawa's restaurants, like restaurants in most places of the world, are really going to struggle because nobody can go and eat in them. So those are businesses at risk, uh, the whole supply chain is at risk, the staff don't have jobs. And what he did is he said, so listen, uh, normally I have this publication that lists all the restaurants in Ottawa and tells you about them so you can make an informed choice. That's not relevant right now. So I have a new online publication and it's called Ottawa Eats Out. And in his new online publication, what he is doing is he is listing all of the restaurants that are doing takeaway right now. And he is helping uh, would-be diners understand how to order from these different restaurants that are offering takeaway. So he's adapted his business model. He is probably saving his business. And he's also probably saving hundreds of restaurants and hundreds of jobs in the Ottawa area. He's looking after his clients. Now, who are his clients? His clients are the restaurants, right? So he's looking after his clients, but in doing so, he's helping them look after their clients, i.e. the diner. This is a fantastic example of leadership today. Why? It's adaptive. And number two, it uses all of the e-tools that are at his disposal. So that's the other thing. You know, you can't think about apps and you can't think about social media. If those two words turn you off, you're like, eh, I don't like social media. Mm, I think apps are silly. Let me encourage you to change your lens on that one. Think of them as e-tools because that's what they are, okay? So my challenge to you is what are you doing to be visible? Hi, we're open. Uh, reassuring here's how to access us in fact here's how to access me okay I am here to help you here's my number here's my email here's how to access me as the head of this company we're open be reassuring seek to support your customers at this time because as I said before if you're not doing it someone else is and use all of the e-tools that you have now you may not know how to do that, so my challenge for you today is what are you doing and how are you being visible and being reassuring? So uh, I'm going to let you think about that one today and I will come back tomorrow for another leadership pep talk. And remember, the four word phrase today is look after your clients. Bye for now.